I should die. No, put the gun down, Juice. It made for riveting television. The recreation of the day a suicidal O.J. Simpson held a gun to his head as he fled cops in a white Ford Bronco. But how realistic were the scenes in the hit FX miniseries, The People vs. O.J. Simpson? You be the judge. This is the TV recreation of the chase, a phalanx of cop cars trailing at low speed. And this is the real thing that fateful day, June 17, 1994, pretty close. In this scene from the miniseries, a crowd cheers encouragement from an overpass. Go OJ! Go OJ! This is how it really looked. This is Simpson's best friend, Al Cowlings, played by actor Malcolm Jamal Warner, driving the Bronco. You tell the cops to back off, all right? And this is the real Al Cowlings at the wheel as Simpson huddles in the back, a gun to his head. This is AC. I have OJ in the car. You gotta tell the police to just back off. He's still alive, but he got a gun to his head. Detective Tom Most Lang was on the phone with Simpson that day, trying to get him to toss the weapon out the window. If he comes out with that gun, and he points it at somebody, they got to drop him. Some of the most dramatic moments of the incredible chase came as the Bronco returned to Simpson's house on North Rockingham Avenue in Brentwood. Here's the miniseries. Simpson's frantic son, Jason, runs up to the Bronco. Get in the house! Get in the house! And here's real life.